All right, so welcome everyone. Let's have a chat about reported speech. Can anybody here explain what reported speech is? Can we translate it? Maybe Ivan, can you try? Uh, yeah, reported mm -hmm. speech is not a direct speech. It's about uh, someone said something. Excellent, great. And in this, in this uh, situation, we may have a little problem with uh, grammar because uh, in direct speech, I will use some tenses, for example, past tense or present tense or the future tense. Uh, well, there are no future tenses. So let's say I will use will or going to. And uh, there will be a problem if I want to give a reported speech on this because I need to change the tenses. Fortunately, changing them is regular and uh, we can learn it. So let's have a look at this. You are supposed to do this task already. So I will go straight into uh, exercise two. This is where you read uh, about this crime that happened, uh, that happened on streets of London. And there was one question here. Why did most listeners think that the crime was a joke? So uh, can you look at the text? I will give you some time and tell me why was it seen as a joke? It was a crime because the guy, the reporter was mugged and still many people saw it as a joke. So look at the text and tell me why. So anybody here knows? You don't have to read every single word. You just have to look for a piece of information in it, nothing else. So anybody knows who can tell me? I have no idea. So read the text, it's right there. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm like reading it. Uh -huh, so, okay, okay. So, so I'll like, give you more time. Okay. So a reporter uh, went can to I, the streets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, please, please. Can I guess? Is it because the reporter was mugged after telling that passerby that he heard of a mugging earlier? Uh, no, no, no. That's the guy who actually mugged someone. Um, the the the, the crime the criminal actually is the guy who is saying this. He said he had seen a mugging earlier that day. Oh, uh, oh well, that also could be. It, it, it's connected to the first sentence and the last sentence, right? A reporter went onto the streets yesterday to do a report about crime and ended up learning more than expected. So, what exactly did the reporter learn? Uh, more, did more he learn there's a lot of crime in in london uh mm, it's yes. kind of ironic um, isn't it it's ironic yeah kind of and why because i don't know like he's reporting a crime and he's learned more than he expected he should well, he's not reporting a crime. That would be like going to the police. But he's doing a report about crime. Mm -hmm. So he wants to tell the readers about the, about crime in London. Okay, he's writing an article about it. Mm -hmm. And then uh, as he asks the first person uh, on the street, the first person will mug him. Okay, <laughs> so that's, uh -huh. that's the joke, basically, that... Uh, okay. The first person he asks on the street actually is a criminal who will mock him, and oh. as he as he's doing a report on the crime. Okay, so oh, yeah. Ooh, that, that's I hope now that we understand okay. most listen, or listeners or readers yeah, uh, thought it was a joke because uh, it kind of proved to the point that uh, it's very dangerous on the street. Now, all right, in this text we have a lot of reported speech. That means somebody says that somebody said something. And that's very important. Here you will find the direct speech. Here is the dialogue. Here is the conversation between the reporter and the man. So let's have a look how their conversation could have been. All right. Hello. And let's go, let's complete it with the correct verb verbs and tenses uh, based on uh, their dialogue. All right. Let's have a look at this. So uh, the first one, for example, Matthias, can you try? Hello, I doing a report on street crime in the area. I, I am doing this. Yeah. 
uh -huh, mm -hmm. on street crime in the area. And what would be the answer, Martin? Can you tell us? Martin, are you there? Yeah. Um, there, there is a lot mm -hmm. of crime here. There is a lot of crime here. Excellent. And now I see uh, mugging it earlier today. Earlier today, right? That's important. So, Jan, can you try? Oh, sorry, Jan. I saw. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, correct. Good job. Then we have uh, Ladislav. Can you try this one? There wasn't. Ex uh, excellent. But we have officers now, I see. Many police officers. Weren't. Weren't, yeah. Correct. And also uh, more police around. So, for example, who can tell me? Who can tell me? Uh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, Mati, can you try? I don't want more police around. More police around. Excellent. Why do you think he doesn't want it? Mm, I don't know. Well, he's the mugger now. Yeah. You remember? Yeah, yeah. So if you if you're a mugger, you don't want police around. And uh, reporter uh, Ivan, can you try? Uh, hey, he stole my phone. Uh, yes, but do I know when? It's it's ha it has happened just now. And I see the results. My result is I don't have my phone. So he present per, present perfect. He has stolen stolen my phone. My phone. Okay, good. So this is the direct speech. To let up team mouse edge. This is what they are saying. And now look at the text. This is exactly the same thing, but uh, in indirect speech. This is uh, actually the reported speech or indirect speech. So you will see the same sentences, but they are uh, used in a reported speech. And my question is, how did the tense change? Jak se změnil ten čas? Tady máme přítomný čas, průběhový, přítomný čas prostý, minulý čas prostý a přepřítomný čas. Tady máme. Okay, so my question is, how did the tenses change? Look at these uh, look at these sentences here and tell me how they changed. So, hello, I am doing a report on a street crime in the area. Can we see that? Which sentence, uh, uh, the, which sentence is the reported speech in this text about the same sentence? I am doing a report on street crime. The second one. The second one, uh, you mean he stopped? Yeah? yeah, he stopped the passerby and said that he was doing a story on a street crime in the area. So, uh, I am doing changed into what he was doing. He was doing that means present perfect, sorry, present continuous, přítomný průběhový čas changed to what mm. Past continuous, minuli, minuli probably. Okay, so that's right here. When you change direct speech to reported speech, the tense of the verbs usually changes. Present continuous changes to past continuous. Okay, to znamená, I am doing changed into I was doing or he was doing. And it is the reason for that is that it is already in the past. He stopped a passerby and he said, right and said that he was doing uh, a story so i cannot say it now because i cannot say i am doing because it would have to be now but it's already in the past so we have to move it one tense behind that's important let's try uh, there is a lot of crime here uh, so, the okay. man said there was a lot of crime there yes so this is present simple přítomný prostý and we change it to what past simple Past simple, easy peasy, no? Yeah. Good. Let's try this one. Uh, I saw a mugging earlier today. So what do we see here? He said he had seen a mugging earlier that day. Yeah, exactly. Had seen. So that means we change past simple into what? Uh, past perfect. Excellent. And also we can write simple to make it very clear. Takže před minulý prostý čas and the same will happen also here. He has stolen my phone. Um, 
the reporters is it like there that, is that it there it's happen. not there then he took the reporter this is not direct uh, indirect speech he's, he's not talking about anything here right so then he took the reporter's phone and ran off so yeah. here we don't see any reported speech okay but what would happen here is that present perfect will change into past perfect too all right takže tady by had stolen by taky bylo had stolen takže he said he had stolen his phone uh, that also would happen so what is important also here that we can use that to introduce reported speech but we often omit it when we omit something anybody knows mm, uh, we don't include it in the sentence i'm pretty sure exactly yes exactly so look because in czech we say on říkal že že right we must use it uh, this uh, con this um, conjunction we must use it but in english you can but you don't have to so you can just say she said she was feeling upset and you can say she said that she was feeling upset both are okay okay and that's very that's quite different from czech so you just need to remember that uh that doesn't have to be used okay but you can use it of course if you feel more comfortable using it why not okay but just you need to know so this is how these tenses change and there's one more thing we need to look at when it comes to grammar in this because what can also happen is that pronouns and possessive adjectives takže přivlastňovací příjemná jména a zájmena se mohou taky změnit they usually change in reported speech depending on the speaker and context you are sitting at my table he said he said we were sitting at his table his so my will change into his all right and that's the simple logic yeah i believe that you will not have much let's say many problems with this that will be fine uh, but here this is what the, where the problems may happen references to time and place can change as well because when i say yesterday it is direct speech yesterday for us today is uh, tuesday all right because wednesday is today but what if you say uh, he said uh, he said he had done it yesterday that doesn't make sense because the day i was speaking my direct speech is already in the past so yesterday for me speaking now is different this is why i must use the day before and the same will happen for other words to describe time for example tonight will become that night today will become that day a week ago will become early, a week earlier here will become there last monday will become the monday before this month that month now at that moment because now is the time i am speaking it is not the time uh, that uh, the speaker that i am describing was speaking so are there any questions about this we are going to try it in written exercises now but are there any questions about this uh, theory i hope that it's not too hard for you now okay. it will continue later in 8d uh, we will also look at other tenses that can happen but these are the most common okay so present simple to past simple present continuous to past continuous past simple to past perfect simple so here are some exercises where we can try this let me also delete it <laughs> i forgot it there we go so uh let's change this into reported speech I am wearing my sister's jacket, she said. So let's try this. Uh, Lukáš, can you can you tell us the first one? Uh, she, said she said she... Máme, I am wearing, right? Přítomný yeah. průběhový čas. Takže na minulý průběhový čas, right? She said she... It's okay, Where? Lukáš. No, 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 it's okay if you don't know. Anybody knows? Anybody wants to try? Yeah, yeah, yeah. she said she was wearing her sister jacket. Excellent. Okay, so I am wearing would change into was wearing. I didn't arrive on time, She told. Uh, he told me. So let's try this one. Um, Matthew, can you try? Wait. Mm-hmm. He told me he hadn't arrived yes. on time. 
Excellent. Hadn't uh, arrived on time. Excellent. The DIY store isn't open at the weekend. Do you remember this from our, maybe a month ago or two months ago, we discussed the DIY store. Do you remember what this store does or what you can buy there? Do you remember? Mm. Uh, okay, I'll help you. DIY stands for do it yourself. Do it yourself. Wood this can help. Planks. It some tools for it's tools, it's yeah, solid. yeah, exactly. Crafting so mostly, materials, exactly. Yeah, so you will see stuff for a house, right? And uh, furniture and uh, gardening tools, a lot of stuff that uh, you will need for building something yourself. That's important. So, the DIY store isn't open at the weekend. So, Ivan, can you try this one? So isn't open, right? Present tense, present simple. Are you there, Ivan? I couldn't yeah. hear you. I don't know. Okay. All right. No problem. Anybody else? Let's say Matias can you try. Isn't open. So isn't will change. In, so this is present simple. See too many prestigious. It must be wasn't, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah correct. So present simple will, will change into past simple. Wasn't open at the weekend. Because that weekend is gone, right? This is why it is in the past. And let's try this one. Uh, it's snowing heavily, my dad said. Uh, Jan, can you try? It's snowing. Something similar we had here. My dad said that uh, it was. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Let's try this one. I'm not enjoying the film, Zach said. So, Martin, can you try? Similar story here. Um, Zach said he was, wasn't enjoying the film. Mm -hmm. Wasn't enjoying. Excellent. My grandma makes really good pizza. So, present simple here. Uh, Matej, can you try? Gino said. Uh, Gino said that his grandma. Um... So present simple. Přítomný prostý čas na minulý prostý čas. Was. Was, no, no, no. Made really good pizzas. No, no, no. Uh, tohle musí být prostý čas, ne průběhový. No, but it wasn't, wasn't making, no, no, no. Make uh, and the past tense, we have to remember this one. It is irregular. To je nepravidelné. Make. Made really good pizzas. Yes, that's it. Made really good pizzas. Excellent. Then let's try, uh, let's try Lukáš. Second, second attempt. So I don't like horror films, said Joel. Takže přítomný prostý čas, I don't like. Minulý prostý čas. Neměl je rád, jako minulý čas. Doesn't right? like. No, 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 to je přítomný čas. We need uh, the past tense, minulý. He didn't like, okay? Didn't like, takže přítomný prostý čas se změní na minulý prostý čas. Okay, let's try another one. Um, for example, Ladislav, can you try number eight? Uh I would parse it new year. My cousin told me. He had gone. Uh, if I say he had gone, that means he's not here now. Or oh, he man. was not there he as he was been. speaking. Uh, okay. He had been. That's much better. Yeah. yeah. Because if I say had gone, that means the time he was talking, telling us about it, then uh, he hadn't been there. Now, if I use only went, okay? Do you see, do you feel the difference here? There's a big difference between this. Because if I say, my cousin told me, this is the first action, and then he went to Paris. So actually, grammatically speaking, it can be said, this thing, my cousin told me, but it doesn't make sense logically very much. That means, if I only use past tenses, pokud použiju přítomný, pardon, minulý prostý a minulý prostý, that means, he told me, that's the first thing. And number two, he went. 
And that doesn't make sense because he cannot tell me after or like before he is going. So that's kind of weird. Uh, I would have to use had been because that means he told me in the past and even before that, his brother or who was that? His cousin, uh, his cousin had been there. Okay, that's the idea. I hope that it's easier now to understand. I know all the answers, my friend said. Uh, let's try David. Can you try number nine? Uh, my friend said she uh, knew all the answers. Mm -hmm. Correct. Good job. Oh, yeah, it's there. I don't have to write it all. Good. We didn't take many photos, my parents said. My parents said they. And let's try this one. Uh, Matthew, can you try? My parents say they hadn't taken. Yeah, exactly. Takže existuje tady tahle ta časová posloupnost, kdy já musím dávat pozor, jaký čas já tam hodím. And the reason is, důvod pro to je teda, že už jenom ta základní věta, kterou mám, on říká, už je v minulém čase. So that means that I cannot use the same tense as before, because I already say something here, uh, I use a tense that, it's, that is already in the past. And for that reason, I must change it all, unfortunately. Okay, uh, let's try one more. Let's try number three. This time you have to make it all. Okay, rewrite what Emma said using reported speech. We will you do it in, in uh, speaking, don't worry. So, I am on the high street. She said she was on the high street. So let's try the next one, Ladislav. Can you try number two? Uh, she said it was raining quite hard there. Uh, there, excellent. So here we changed to there, good job. Uh, Ivan, can you try number three? Uh, I need to buy a present for my sister. She said she need to. Uh, uh, minimally charged. She needed to. Needed to, yeah. To buy a present. a present. To buy. She needed buy. to buy. Uh, that, that's the modal verb. To je modální sloveso. To znamená jenom tady se projeví gramatika. Tohle je infinitiv okay. jenom. Takže she needed to buy. A present for her sister. Her, excellent. So we also change my to her. Uh, it's her birthday soon. So let's try this, Jan. Can you try number four? She said it's her birthday soon. No, I cannot say she no. said it's. It's a přítomný čas, a to nejám musím změnit do minulého. She said it's. Well. No. No. Is je, is je přítomný čas a to musím hodit na minulý čas. The past tense. Past simple. Present simple to past simple. So she said it was. Okay? She said it was her birthday soon. Soon we can keep there. That's okay. I am looking for a silver bracelet. What is a bracelet? Maybe you know it from games? Uh, it's a hand wearing. Not a not a make. Okay, you wear it. Yeah, you wear it on your wrist. Okay, good job. And silver, Okay, silver So I'm looking for a silver bracelet, and you are doing it now. So that means present continuous, and I need to change it into past continuous. Minuli probehovi. So let's try this one. Uh, maybe Lukash, can you try? Uh, she said. She looking for. She said, she, uh, "No, no, no. Uh, I am looking. All right, that's now. And if I say it in the past, the, the verb be to sloveso beat tady musí beat do minulého času. You know, nic jiného nemění. Takže she said she. She was looking. Yes, yeah, correct. She said she was looking. Excellent. I saw a nice one yesterday in the jewelers. Uh, so let's try Martin. V klenotnictví jsem včera jeden pěkný viděl. Uh, she said she... Takže minulý čas na předminulý čas. Right? She... I saw. She has... She, she no, has... Not has. 
To by byl přepřítomný čas. Teď mu třeba před minulý čas. Takže máme, před minulý se tvoří, máme head. Yeah. Head a plus třetí tvar. She head. She, she gets seen a nice... One. A yesterday one. nemůžu říct. What do I say? Nice one in the generals. Okay, but yesterday, how do I change yesterday, Martin? Um, I cannot say yesterday because the day I am speaking, right? Is yesterday is different. So I must say uh, den předtím do slova. Jeden den předtím. It's okay. Before. The day before, yeah. We had it right here, right? Uh, yesterday, the day yeah. before. The day before. Or you can say a day before if you want. That's also okay. And now the, no, the uh, number seven. Let's try number seven. Matias, can you try? Unfortunately, it isn't there anymore. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure, but... Takže máme sloveso je tady. It isn't. Yeah. Present simple. Takže minulý prostý. Wasn't. Uh, can you say the full sentence? Yeah, unfortunately, it wasn't there anymore. Yes, but I'm missing something. Oh, she, she said. She she said. Uh, she uh, wasn't she there. Said, uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> you can say she said that. Unfortunately, comma it wasn't there anymore. There anymore yeah that's correct okay. we don't have to change anything otherwise and number eight here uh there are two verbs this can happen too i think present tense present simple and bought past simple to znamená přítomný tady máme prostý ten změníme na minulý prostý a tady máme minulý prostý a ten změníme na předminulý okay so you need to change two verbs here so let's try uh You can tell me, maybe Mati, can you try? Uh, she said she thought, thought somebody bought it. Bought it. Uh, no, but I cannot keep the same. Yeah. I cannot keep the same because then think is already in the past. To think už dám do minulého času, takže tohle to nemůže být za sebou. Protože by to bylo, jako ona si myslela, že poté někdo to koupil. Ale já chci říct, že ona si myslela, že předtím to někdo koupil. So she said, she thought, minulý čas, somebody, a předtím, že to někdo koupil. I don't know. Před minulý čas. Best, best perfect. Uh, Example je třeba, for, he said he had seen a mugging. OK? Takže máme past simple, se změní na past perfect simple. Had a třetí tvar. Had bought it. Já, yeah. takže she said, she thought somebody had bought it. All right, now, do you think this is easy or hard? What do you think about it? Ivan, for example, do you think this is difficult? For me, yeah. Mm. But I'm getting used to it. Yeah, it's very uh, different from what we are used to in Czech language because uh, we just have past tenses, that's it. We just don't care about it. That's why this is really important for us to learn because uh, it is not happening only with, uh, with sad, okay? It can also happen with other verbs. Let me show you some examples here. I, uh, I say that, right? I say that I've uh, been to the US, for example. As you see here, I use normal present, present perfect, because here, or we can use this one uh, to make it very indirect. He says that he uh, he's been to the US. Now, over here, you see this is the present tense. On to říká tečkom, right? So, on to říká teď a právě před tímhletím dějem on byl někdy v USA. He has been to the US. Teďkom to celé posunu do minulosti. He said he had been to the US. Takže on už to říkal kdysi a ještě předtím, než to říkal, byl v USA. OK? Now, do you know any different verbs where I use that? U kterých jiných sloves ještě já můžu mít spojku that? například. 
Ono se to totiž neděje jenom tady u tohohle slovesa usej. Ono se to děje u více sloves, které mají dead, spojku dead, kterou já nemusím samozřejmě vyslovit, že jo? Tu nemám tady. Takže, for example, what else do I have with dead? Anybody? Okay. Uh, they think, OK. Takže they think that. What else? They get that. They get that. Uh, they get that uh, the teacher was right. Aha, OK. So in the meaning of understand, yeah? They yeah. understand or get. OK, I get it. Anything else? They uh, realize. They real. We do we see that they realize that uh, they uh, tell somebody that tell we are going to use as well a lot in eight D. Uh, there's a big difference between say and tell, but like the meaning is similar, but the grammar is different. And anything else with that? Mm. I hope that they hope that. Anything else? They, they believe that. Um, Any other idea? I'm, I'm also like trying to remember some. Um, it's you've done the most common ones, I would say. Yeah, probably. But like, there are a lot more. There are a lot more. Yeah. So this the very same thing happens here. All right. So if I say they think that, let's say. Uh, um, They think that this grammar, this grammar is easy, okay? They meaning you as the students. And now I would say they thought that this grammar or that grammar, I can also use that that grammar was easy, okay? So, and again, present simple to past simple. Unfortunately, this has to happen because this one here already is in the past. So if I use past here, I cannot suddenly use uh, present present tense here. That doesn't work. The same would be would be here. They understood that this grammar was hard. Okay. The same thing here. Uh, they realized that we don't really see to build sand. They realized that it was a dream. Or they realized that he had committed a crime. Okay? Because he had committed the crime before they realized it, and realized is already in the past. So that's why. I hope now that this can this helps a lot. I hope <laughs> that you will realize now how important this is. It is not just for talking about what other people said. It also happens with other verbs where I have that. Uh, and this can happen a lot, actually. So are there any questions? Everything okay? So uh, I hope that you wrote this down. Over here especially, this is important. And uh, reported speech will continue in 8D because there are other cases where this can happen. Let me show you here. 8D reported speech too. And we are going to also talk about uh, how this can uh, happen in different kind of contexts. You will see it here. There will be like three more examples. That's it. So thank you so much for coming. I hope that this uh, this helped you a lot. I don't like grammar myself too much, uh, but I hope that it's a little bit easier now for you. And this will really help you for your written tasks. Uh, the following week, we are going to talk a lot. Don't forget your presentations. And I'm looking forward to seeing you there. So thank you.